the tape for this lightweight fight. Clayson Tebow, 28 years old. Dos Anjos is 27. Reach is identical. Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason McCoy. Jason McCoy, our referee. Ariani, Sean Della, our entire crew. Are you ready? Set for you UFC ready? 139 right now. Lightweight battle. Glayson Tebow and Rafael Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos, Mike, physically looks better than we've ever seen him. It looks in really tremendous physical shape. Southpaw against Southpaw in this matchup of Brazilians. Dos Anjos fighting from the southpaw position when he faces orthodox fighters, loves that inside leg kick. Absolutely. Let's see if he uh, uses the switch one off the front leg to attack Glayson's lead leg. Yeah, the true southpaw is Dos Anjos. And this may be something that Tebow worked very hard on just to try to throw off his opponent early. Checked. Glaces stand up has really improved over the years, Mike. Pushes forward there. Big difference between what we used to see from him in the octagon, which was a very powerful jiu-jitsu fighter with, you know, a, a bit robotic yes. with his stand-up technique. Much looser now, much cleaner punches. Well, I, I have a note from probably many fights ago, Joe, when you and I talked about that Glayson was trying to sharpen his striking. He's way past trying to sharpen his striking. He's done so. Well, you know, his, his camp, American Top Team, can't say enough about the skill level of not just the fighters that train there, but the trainers. What a, a great environment to train in. Uh, amazing atmosphere. It's one of the best equipped gyms in the world, both with experts and equipment and space. It's just an amazing thing that Dan Lambert has set up down there in Coconut Creek, Florida. Well, it's set up. It's set up to make champions is what it's set up for. Yeah, it, it truly is. One of the best environments to train in the world. And Gleason has been there for many years. Pushes forward with the 1-1-2. One, one, a lot of movement around the outside right now by Dos Anjos. Looks good with his footwork. Brilliant takedown, but look how quickly. Two Dos very high-level grapplers Yeah, here. Dos Anjos immediately went for the butterfly guard, but uh, Gleason did a great job of staying on top of him. And now Dos Anjos looking to get back up to his feet, but he's got to watch his neck. Dos Anjos coming off a tremendous win. The knockout victory over George Sotteropoulos, which was by far the biggest win of his UFC career. Biggest, most decisive, too. Yeah, no question. Has trained with Ku Toy from Team Sityotong. Has done so in Singapore, as well as traveling to Brazil with Ku Toy for the Guida fight. So the Sityotong striking background for Rafael Dos Anjos as they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, it's interesting, Mike. He, he, he tends to favor his right leg as far as uh, kicking techniques when he's fighting a southpaw, not throwing uh, too many left leg uh, leg kicks. Looking for the takedown. He's got his hands together and he gets him down. Dos Anjos has finished 13 or pardon me, won 13 of his last 16 fights. That knockout of Sotteropoulos was his first since 2005. Place it right back up to his feet. So hard to keep that guy down. The elbow. See what I mean, Mikey? He's constantly favoring the right leg as far as kicking techniques. Whereas when he fights orthodox fighters, he generally attacks with that left. Throws a lot of left inside roundhouse kicks to the thigh. But it's not, not attacking the lead leg at all of, of Glayson with his left leg. It's kind of interesting. Oh! 
pushed straight forward to Tebow and he was able to clip Dos Anjos on the way back. Final 30 seconds of round one. Uppercut. And looking for the takedown. Great transition between the striking and the grappling there by Dos Anjos. But Tebow saw it coming. Solid takedown defense. Yeah, tried to set up that single with the uppercut. Final seconds of the round. Good break. Really closely matched first round, Mike, as we expected. And here we see Glayson looking for the takedown here and lands a nice right hand and a left hook behind it that sent Dos Anjos scrambling. He's only got his uppercut and his rear hand. Just jab him twice to cut the space and then you come in with the cross. Make him make a mistake, and when he kicks the inside, you throw a cross. Try to keep him down for a little bit. When you walk back, he's trying to put your back against the cage and taking the double leg. Just single leg. The uppercut's coming in well. Second out. Let's go. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's go. You got a mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Back up, back up. Back up. We gotta get out. You ready? Ready? Fight! Round two. Let's see if Dos Anjos tries to pick up the pace right away here in round two. That, that's the one thing working with Crew Toy at Team Sit Your Tongue that they always stress is you control how this fight takes place. You get time, there time, first. Time, 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 And they're going to check. Time. Go, go over here. Glove, over here. Huh? Over yeah, there. little over there. bit of tape Somebody bring out. us. Something to, I need to cut this. A little bit of the wrap of the hands of Gleason Tebow. Thank you. Okay, you guys ready? Fight! Well, let's see if Dos Anjos looks to dictate early. When Glayson comes, he comes straight forward, Joe. Yeah, he does. Dos Anjos is trying to move. Oh, nice right yeah. hand by Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos is trying to move left, right, give him all sorts of angles, but Glayson is just looking for his opportunity to press forward and throw bombs. But neither guy has really taken control of this fight yet, Mike. And uh, the most significant moments, probably those two punches that Glayson landed yes. and sent Dos Anjos running back. Lead uppercut again by Dos Anjos. And again, what you said sent him running back because of what we talked about, Glayson pushing straight forward. Take down the fence there by Dos Anjos. Nice use of the body shot. Two Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts, very high-level grapplers, spending most of the time in this battle on the feet. Yeah, Dos Anjos seems to be a bit lighter on his feet, and uh, Glayson is uh, the power fighter here. Thirty-three wins for Glayson Tebow at age 28, trying to avoid the takedown here. Dos Anjos really looking for it. Yeah, solid, solid takedown defense by Glazen. It's interesting, Mike. This is uh, very much like when you see uh, two wrestlers often cancel yes. each other out with their wrestling in terms of a kickboxing match. So that's what's going on here. But again, Dos Anjos always attacking with that right leg. He is not attacking the front leg of Glayson at all, which is rare for Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos usually has a, a real solid leg kick attack, but I think it's probably because he's aware of Glayson's takedowns, yes. and he doesn't want to get that left leg caught, and he feels a bit more comfortable throwing that right. You know, as he turned the hip, it's almost like it looked like he was going to throw it there and then decided not to. Yeah, the reason being the way Glacian stands, 
in the southpaw stance. I think he believes that if he throws that left kick, that Glacier's going to catch it on the outside of his body. It's going to allow him to take Dos Anjos down. Dos Anjos gets that right arm stuck under there. That's very important for him to avoid that takedown. Now he's going to try to turn Glacier, and he does. Gets him back to the cage. Elbow on the exit just missed. Again, neither man is really taking control of this fight. They're essentially canceling each other out left and right. Someone's going to have to take a chance. Yep. Dos Anjos, the one two. Answer. Big left hand misses. Nice. Good left hand by Glacier. And he's going for it. Really swinging away here. Dos Anjos is on rubber legs. Yep. Oh, he big left rocks. hand by Glacier. Big shots by Glacier oh, Tebow. Another one. And again, Tebow with the left. What is keeping Dos Anjos up? Dos Anjos trying to step out of the way of trouble. Yeah, he's barely awake, Mike. Glacier Tebow looking to finish this fight. He's hanging in there admirably. But Glacier has him rocked. He got rocked and Tebow trying to finish. Dos Anjos bleeding out of his ear, Mike, from one of those big left hands. We were waiting for someone to take control and have some success, and that someone is Glacier Tebow. And he did it with one big punch. You know, and as we said, Glacier has just really improved his stand-up dramatically over the last couple years. And Pick there the it is right here. He clipped him with the... And look how cleanly he throws the right behind. And the right is the one that did the damage, and there was no wind-up in that right hand. He capitalized on the Can opening that he created with his big left. Me, and, man, what kept Dos Anjos up here? Because he got hammered. Over and over again, Glacier snuck these punches in. Keep your hand up. Don't kick if you're tired. Just pay attention. Pay attention to what we're saying. You won the first round. This is time to fight. This is your time. You're going to come back with another guy. This is your time, man. Let's go. You're going to win this round, man. Come on, let's go. Joe, the left caught him right around the spot that Junior Dos Santos caught Cain Velasquez right by the ear where it messes with the equilibrium. But the okay, follow-up right connected right to the jaw. Yeah, and the right was picture-perfect yeah. technique, Mike. The reason why it landed was there was no wind-up to it. He just uncorked it. But Dos Anjos able to survive. And as their corner said, hey, you know what? This could be one round apiece. Let's take the fight right here. Well, that first round is very debatable. Absolutely. Oh, Dos Anjos clipped him. And that's that power of one of the biggest 55s in the UFC lightweight division that we talked about with yeah. Gleason Tebow. He's a big welterweight, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how the hell he makes 155. <laughs> Dos Anjos looking for an opening. Recovered very well from some big shots after he got flipped with the one-two. Looking for his third straight UFC win is Glacen Tebow. Well, Dos Anjos seems to be back 100%, really clean the cobwebs. And so far, he has landed the big shot in this round. Still has not thrown that kick you talked about, though, Joe. Yeah, not from the left side. There, there it is. Yep. I'm surprised, you know, seeing his past fights, he has a, a wicked left kick. Good takedown defense, saw that coming. Both men connect. 
approaching the three minute mark. And there's again that left leg. And you know what? It almost got caught by yep. Gleason, and that's what you talked about. Exactly. Keeping it on the outside like that. Gleason has a much better opportunity to grab it. Yep, and he almost did. And you can do what? Two things. You can either follow up with that straight counter, which is a vicious punch, or you can take your opponent down. If you can catch the leg and counter with a, what would be in this case a straight left, that can be a massive connection. James Irvin, Anderson Silva. Absolutely. Midway point of the third and final round. Place him with the big takedown. Huge at this point in this fight. Black belt against black belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. 15th UFC fight for Gleison Tebow. Looking for his 11th win as a lightweight. Good job by Dos Anjos getting right back up to his feet. Got to be careful of his neck. Look at the size of Gleison Tebow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He's not really even built like a fighter. You know? He's built almost like a bodybuilder. Absolutely. Dos Anjos takes a look at the clock and he sees 120 remaining in this fight. Going to try to get out of this position and sprint to the finish is Rafael Dos Anjos. Because that's a huge takedown that Tebow has scored here in this round. Well, Dos Anjos still has a minute to make something happen here, but the momentum certainly is in Gleason's favor. Yes, sir. Good work. Knees. There by Dos Anjos. Switches to a single. Working hard for zone takedown. 30 seconds now. And you know, Dos Anjos only threw a few of those left leg kicks, but you can see the welting on the right leg of Gleason as he tries to pull onto that leg. Now they exchange, whoa, wildly. Both men as they break. 10 seconds. Final seconds of the fight. Left hand by Tebow. Stop, stop, stop. And they go the distance. Gleason Tebow and Rafael Dos Anjos. And this was the most significant moment in the fight. And this is where Gleason really connected with that left-right combination and had Dos Anjos in all sorts of trouble. Dos Anjos did a good job, though, of blocking a lot of these punches, moving, and just generally gutting it out. And look at that left hand got through. I mean, it's really, he caught him with some serious haymakers. And there, Dos Anjos gets in a very good shot of his own, and then Gleason shoots for the big shot, gets him down, roughed him up a little bit on the ground. Much closer third round, but a big second round for Gleason Tebow. Dos Anjos really got rocked in that second, but gutted it out, goes the distance, and we'll see if Tebow has made it three in a row and earned his 10th career UFC win as the judges render their decision. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29-28, Dos Anjos. 29-28, T-Bow. And 30-27 for the winner by split decision, Gleason T-Bow. Split decision victory for Gleason T-Bow. The tenth win of his UFC career, he defeats Rafael Dos Anjos here in San Jose.